suffice to say that this being an election year and the election is just a few months away, uh, it is very disappointing to find that there were really no endeavors made by the government, even at the stage, to push anything for job creation or for young people. Um, I think one was expecting that this being the last budget, signing off budget, the chief minister and the government of the day will do some repenting of the last four and a half years. But sadly, this government has remained and does remain still a 40% government, which nationally has become famous for this 40% tax, has not gone away. The way the government jobs are being put up for sale, nothing was done in this budget to curtail those. So they have not been able to wash off the sins of the last four years. And I'm sure, like all my colleagues keep saying, the next few months we'll see uh, a change, a decisive change, and the formation of a Congress government with a thumping majority in the state of Karnataka. Uh, friend, as you are aware, <coughs> the Indian Parliament, both Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha, for the last few days, there have been discussions about this very contentious issue of the Adani group and what they have been doing for the last few years. What is actually very discouraging is the fact that in the Indian Parliament, when Congress President Mr. Kharge or our former President Mr. Rahul Gandhi asks certain questions on the floor of the House, uh, those questions are expunged from the records. This has never happened. There is a parliamentary procedure, there is decorum, there is precedent on what can be allowed to be expunged and what can't be expunged. But the way that we are heading, the brute majority that the BJP has in parliament does not give it the right to expunge the contents or the questions that an honourable member makes on the floor of the house. Sadly, the Prime Minister and his response failed to even answer one single question about the group, its activities, the allegations, uh, the huge loss of public money, the share market crash and the huge devaluation of the group itself. A lot of questions about crony capitalism have come up, government assets being sold for uh, undervalued prices, uh, public finances being misused, uh, SEBI, the uh, finance ministry, the RBI, regulatory bodies all watching as this collusion of political power and business interest has taken a toll on public sector undertakings and small investors across the country. It's a very important issue. The entire country wants to ask the question, why is the government of the day shying away from a JPC? A joint parliamentary committee has been formed on numerous occasions previously under a Congress government, under a BJP government. And if the government has nothing to hide, I see no reason why a JPC can't be constituted. And the BJP has majority in the Lok Sabha, so majority members will be BJP. So really, it's, it's baffling for all of us to see why time and again, why the government says we're open for discussion, we have nothing to hide, then why is the government shying away from ordering a joint parliamentary committee on this subject? 